sure. Nice fish, huh? So, hi, Larry. I'm Robert Hoover, chapter president. Hi, Robert. Katie, have you seen Boone? He disappeared the minute we got here. Oh, it sounded like a dreary evening. Besides, I have too much to do. Will you stop using that special school as a crutch and start facing up to your own problems? I didn't know I had any problems. At least I didn't know that you knew I had any problems. Any woman that ends a marriage after 22 years is bound to have problems, Mom. And those kids in that school aren't going to solve them for you. Hey, Richie, let's make out on Hey, I need a punk on you, Richie. <laughs> hey, your friends want you back. You tell them everything? No, you kidding? It's the dirty part. Hey, listen, you know, I really think we should see each other again sometime. I gotta go. I've had a hard day. Hey, hey wait, I want, to, I want you to meet a friend. What you guys do is, is drop lewds and then, then take Perkadans and angel dust. Naturally, it seems funny. Well, of course, anything will if you're, if you're, you know, we, you, you should abandon the show and open a pharmaceutical house. Look, you're, I quit. Relax. I quit. I, I quit. You're being silly. She's a little bit nervous. Let me just do this. We, 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 we've talked to them about that, yeah. and we consider, we no, say... Don't, don't break our necks. No, oh, I won't. Oh, fine, good. fine. I can't talk about it now, as I told you. Why not? Because I just can't. I'm so... Please don't ask me, okay? Don't ask me. How long are you going to be gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's really something. Yeah, no more parents, no more restrictive rules on our natural inclinations. You see, I believe if there's only two real choices in life. Either you play it safe or you take a chance. Now, I, I believe in taking a chance. What about you? What do you think? I think that if you really want to go to bed with me, you ought to just come right out and ask. I always knew someday you'd come walking back through my door. I never doubted that. Something made it inevitable. So what are you doing here in Nepal? I need one of the pieces your father collected. I learned to hate you in the last 10 years. I never meant to hurt you. I was a child. Never. Even when I was with him, I was lonely. I never have that feeling with you. And I knew I wouldn't as soon as we got going. I don't like being alone. Well, it depends on what you mean by love. I'm willing to spend the rest of my life with you after we live together on a two-week trial basis. Don't say anything. We'll rent a small furnished room. I'll pay for the food. You still buy the quarters for the laundromat. We'll split the grass, the gas, and the light bill. Sounds romantic. Do we have a deal? No. No. But I'd like you to get to know me better. I am trying. There. Thank God you speak English. But she's on vacation. She'll be back in September. Are, are you her boyfriend? No. I live right here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got a lot of wood out here, Bob. Finish with you later, Larry. Now, Mara. How much wood you got here, Bob? Well, it's over six million feet, but... Bob, you have seven million board feet just sitting here. Fergie phoned in. The tug's got engine problems again. Then use the competition. Get Glenn over at Ace. Let's get a tug out here and get rid of some of this inventory. Give Janet my love, will you? Couldn't go back. I threw up on the floor. So from half past seven in the morning till after five in the afternoon, you mean to tell me you went walking around in the park in order to make me believe you were still going to business college? Well, it wasn't as bad as it sounds. I went inside places to get warmed up. Inside where? Et sur le camion qui est en A2. Combien de temps lui faudra-t-il pour revenir sur la transversale et arriver au carrefour? Il faudrait compter 45 secondes si le conducteur a de bons réflexes, mais s'il attend des ordres, une minute tout au plus. On va prendre la rue parallèle à droite. Where did I get you? You got me right here, and the sidewalk got me back here. 
<laughs> oh, it's gonna be quite a lump. I'm sorry, here. Nine allowance. Oh, oh, Alex, quite a treat to see you in your party, Duds. Where's the primate? He's, he's at his babysitter's. You know these gentlemen, of course, and Mrs. Parrish, Alex Bristow. Uh, Dr. Parrish, I, I really uh, must confer with you. Oh, well, go ahead, confer away. They sent their deadliest weapon. The beautiful spy. He's never made love before. I know it. They don't want anyone to know what's really going on in tomorrow. Israel isn't just making atom bombs. They're making highly sophisticated thermonuclear bombs. I think we should assume he knows everything that goes on. Something. <laughs> it's a little loose. Well, they need to be to work in, don't you know? Through the hips. Well, you want them larger there. <laughs> Is that comment directed particularly at me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. In the weightless state, the blood, instead of heading for the feet the way it does here on Earth, goes to the middle of the body and stays there, don't you know? Sharing a bathroom. No, that's all right. I've shared a bathroom for the past five years. Oh, so you were married? No, we just lived together. We never had any spark. Just not my type physically. <laughs> you stayed together for five years? It's hard to get out. I've been there. There's no point in fighting about it. I'm sorry. May I sit down? Nice enough to ask. It's the same questions, Mrs. Little. Since the death of your husband, Murder. there is a serious question Murder. as to whether or not you are capable of raising these children on your own. I certainly didn't write the sick little notes that came with them. So you tell someone to come over and pick this stuff up, or I'm going to call the Consumer Affairs Department. Hello? Hmm. I haven't been here since the night we... The night we didn't. The night we watched the sunrise. Dirty. Climb trees, hop fences, get into trouble, for crying out loud. Not too much, but some. You have my permission. How many mothers do you know who say something like that to their sons? Well, none mothers, I guess. Honey, I want you to make some friends this summer. Lots of them. sure so if you put down donald miller's name on it whoever's taking the mail I'll let it go through because they won't know that it's really for my father Let's see donald miller yeah i i know it sounds complicated but it's really the only way to make sure that my father will get it i have to tell you carrie you've been doing some great work around here thank you margaret of course we'll be expecting even more from you now that is, if you want a promotion anytime soon. You know I do. As a matter of fact, I kind of had my eye on this office. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the path to town. Hell out there. 
Sylvester, <clears throat> I don't want any cussing in this house. If your father were here. Who do you think I learned it from, Ma? I never saw a ground so full of rocks. Yeah, they must be growing more every year. Sylvester, your boots are caked with mud. Take them outside. Ready for this? Screw him. You get right back on the horse, right? What? What? You don't want me to? No. Fine, fine. I've never heard music like that before. That's opera. We listen every day. It's called decor, but means the basket. That's what the boys have been talking about. I've been sailing 42 years. Never plotted a course. Set the compass, I ride it. We'll be in Bermuda in no time. Hair style for like 20 years, Mom. I think you should at least get it colored. Gray just is nothing for oh, your complexion. Well, I don't have any gray loud, hair. Mom. And when I do, I think it will look very distinguished. Mom, gray is not distinguished. And when was the last time you wore flimsy lingerie? Well, that young lady is none of your business. Police report you stated that you had witnessed the firearm discharge. Did you witness the firearm discharge? You okay with just coffee, honey? Mm -hmm. You're not from around here, are you? No, no, I'm not. You okay? Shaka Sulu. You've heard of him. Genghis Khan of Africa. Lord of a kingdom twice the size of Europe. His is no tribe, Miss Farewell. It's a war machine, as ferocious as any this world has ever seen. Don't waste your time and money looking for your father. Body yeah, well, it looked like a corpse because I have to listen to you every day. Oh, touche, baby. But I wasn't aware you ever listened to me. <laughs> How's your roommate, Henry? I'm still at the institution. Oh. Over here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if I have much in the fridge. Hey, you got the curtains up. <laughs> yes, incredible. I did. And I love them. Thank you. <laughs> what are we on this planet for, huh? To make a little girl happy? She's not a little girl. She's grown. She's a woman. Get Thank used you, to it. Mom. Thank you. Privedite, gentlemen. Get your hands off me, you rotten, rusky son of a bitch! Indiana Jones. <laughs> About time you showed up. Mom! Sweetheart. Mom. I thought it was broken. You were throwing it up. I am. So why are you cleaning it? I can't put something this filthy out in the garbage. People will think we're pigs. So you're cleaning the garbage? Just eat and mind your own business. You know, you should really meet my friend Jerry. You guys both have sort of a healthy respect for garbage. <laughs> yeah. Tries to do that again? Don't let him until Mr. Jenkins. I love him, you know. Jesus. Christ. John F. Kennedy. Not tonight. John F. Kennedy. Moen Jesus is long. Hey, brother Bobby. Moen Jesus is long. Be 
renewed. There are other similar jobs that you can apply for. There's one in Delaney, in fact, that, that would get you back to work the following Monday. <laughs> you want me to move to Delaney? Oh, or you can pick up a few hours at Park Grove, if you'd like, I'm sure. Part-time for less pay. Marvelous, Catherine. Thank you. Absolutely transformed. Well, a little paint goes a really <laughs> long way. And it does my heart good to see Eddie and Cole here. You're a saint for having them back. What do you mean? Well, they grew up here. You want a topper on that? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm going to use them as planters to hang the tomato plants in. <laughs> Barry, <laughs> take a deep breath. Okay, I'll call 911. <laughs> No, don't. Don't. I'm... 